Well, there it went again. I tried to push up that banner. I don't know how. I guess I need to go in there and figure out how to do it without screwing it all up. So I'm going to have to do this in two parts because I don't know how to splice this way when you do it right to YouTube. I'm so used to um, capture and I loved it. But anyway, I think you got the explanation of what it was. But I like that. And this I like too. I, this was the end, I put this on at the end like I had to make it bigger, right? Okay, I put some pink satin stuff like we usually, you know, fold them. And then I had some of this really pretty vintage um, uh, um, lace or trim or whatever that Maggie had given me a while, a long time ago, and it was still in there. So I just, I used like four pieces of it, and I just kind of folded it a little in four places. Then I put, what did I put? I put a little um. I don't know, I think I put a little piece of this here and then a little flower I cut out of something. And then I decided to put this lace back here and I just kind of gathered it as I was going along. And then I put that on the back. But I, I like that one. I should hope so, right? I made it. Oh, I guess I did bring one more down. I made this stick pin. To go with one of the flowers. There that goes. Call from 407598026. does it very well. And then I made this one. Now actually, to tell the truth, this was one I had gotten. It was a hair thing. Clip. You know, I had the thing on it and I cut it off because I liked it. And then I put some little I don't know, you know, extra little pieces of whatever I could find in there, in between. And then at the end, I thought, it needs something else. So, you know, that trim, we have, well, I put it in, and then I put, whoop. Then I put this on it. Of course, I had stuff all over my hands, but it doesn't matter. But I like that. And what else have we here? I had one upstairs that really got a little big. It was yellow like this or gold and then it I put some trim on the outside of it that made it look huge. Huger. 
And then this was a can that I redid. Because like I said, I'm giving some of my things away, but I'm redoing them. I don't know if the bows look good on there or not. Plus I hung this and I hung something else on it if I could find it. Jeez, oh, I'm telling you, I drop everything lately. I just broke, I dropped today my really nice crystal vase. Did I bring it down here? No, the handle just came right off. Uh, and this pin I had gotten with the thrift thing store. And these ribbons came from that one kid's Cinderella curtain satin that I had, and I cut them off. So, you tell me if they don't look good. I put a butterfly in and a bracelet and so I did that. What else did I do? Nothing really. Or I already, you know, sent it. I do have, Avril, I do have your box ready. I just haven't sent it yet. I'm not sure whether to send it before Christmas because I don't want it to get lost. And I have um, yours, Nola. I can't remember. There was something else you wanted that I need to put in there. And a couple other people that I had promised things. My house is a wreck. It's got stuff everywhere, packaged boxes and everything. But I'm thinking, I don't know if I should wait. Oh. The biggest thing I didn't show you. My gift, my happy mail from Marlene. Mars. I was doing one way and she told me it was wrong, so I did it the other. Now I can't remember. Mars from Michigan or Mars of Michigan? Look at this. Isn't that pretty? It's like a stiffer. Uh, material they used to crochet that is really pretty and then she says she told me she was going to send me these things next package but I mean I know I told her I liked them but she, uh, she didn't say anything about sending them to me Remember these that she got? Aren't they adorable? No clasp, but they hang on the wall. I love them. And I already decorated one to hang up. I need these flowers to stick out a little more. Get rid of this big old leaf. Isn't that pretty? This is where my dried flowers all come in handy that I get from the Goodwill and those places. So I will be hanging that up. She kept saying, don't forget. I didn't forget about the hobnob. I, I really didn't get remember what she meant. I was thinking it was a basket or something, but and look at this, how cute. That adorable. I can't wait to put some stuff in it. I think I'll put things in that the people sent me. And then the big one. You know, I say I always like bows. Different color bows, big bows, like this bow that Margaret sent me. Um, I don't know what it is. You know how you have a, like a thing, like a fetish <laughs> for certain things? You don't know why. You didn't like magnets and bows and... Uh, uh, bags. I have a thing for bags. Like I said, I have burlap bags. I have onion bags, potato bags. I just have all kind of bags. 
and um, sew the bows. So, okay, look at this. There's the bow. I'm going to have to think of uh, something like to... There's the bow. Soft wedding dresses. There's the bow. I have a project to do with bows. Here's the bow. Oh, I like that. It's a little different. It's got that on it. And I showed you a picture once of the different bows I have hanging upstairs from different things and from the wedding dresses that I had done. And look at this one. I really I like this one. It's different. It's got the flowers with it. Isn't that pretty? I've already bought whole wedding dresses if they weren't real expensive for the bows or regular dresses. And it's, I like that. And then, look at this. Two pieces of this. It was the bottoms of the bow I'm thinking Look. so I have to think of something really cool to make with that because you could take these off you know if you wanted to flaps off and then just in case I ever get married again, <laughs> which I don't think I will. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? The ring bearer's pillow. Look at that pretty design. That is really pretty. She must have got it at the... I didn't see, of course, I can't keep up with her videos. She just, she's got one going every day. I, I try. She must have got this at the thrift store. Or she had it or somebody gave it to her. And what else? I don't, I hope I didn't miss anything, um, Marlene. You know, I, I had seen a a few pieces of um, lace, but I I thought that was from something else. And of course, um, I'm trying to remember. I think. Oh, I don't know, but maybe I showed them already. But it, I believe she had sent me some of these bags. I happen to have them in here, but I don't know if it was this time or another time. And then, of course, this is why I love these bags. That's the one Roseanne made with her bits and pieces that look make, look much better than mine, and she's just got some bits and pieces, and I've had to sit there and figure it out. I could probably make these all day. It's, I like um, quick. Of course, my stuff doesn't turn out quick, but it seems quick because it takes me forever. But I like to see something when I'm done. But thank you so much, Marlene taking me so literally on these bows. Now I can dye them. I'll have to think of something like a wall hanging or something. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I have a, um, this was the pink one and I, I remember I bought one out, one dress or top or something. Somebody wanted for some material, and it had this 
bow on it uh, blue like a bluish green and I I cut that off I have that upstairs it's weird if I die tomorrow what the heck are my kids gonna do with all that stuff but I guess that'll be their problem they don't even know what I do or what I have or whatever so I guess I'll have to clean up. Isn't that cute? I just think it's adorable. Adorable. That's French. Adorable. Francais. Okay. I think that's it. I can't think of any other wonderful things I've done. Everybody does two to one to me. Once I get these packages out, I will be happy. And then I can make, start making some stuff again. I see there's so many things on the videos, swaps and challenges and they're all so gorgeous, and I want to make everything, and it's like, I, I don't know how they have the time. It's either clean my house, which is not, wash my clothes. I guess I'm not very organized at the time, at the moment. But anyway, and um, Jeannie, I have your door hanger hanging right here. And um, I think that's it. Don't you feel so bad I have to leave now? <laughs> oh, well, hopefully maybe I'll get with you before the holidays. And I hope that all of you have a happy and safe and healthy holiday. Make sure you get your flu shots, your pneumonia shots, your shingle shots, your whatever. It's nothing I hate worse than being sick. Mostly to my stomach. Ugh. You know, that's one thing I can't tolerate very much. So, just in case, Merry Christmas. I was, um, I'm gonna sing, I wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The second verse is the same as the first, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay guys, I, I'll put my little thing there, you know every time they pick up a thumb nail or whatever you call it. They pick the ugliest one, like me drinking something or some such thing. So, okay, talk to you later. Bye.